Hello everyone, when you have a data set containing information about different categories, products or regions and you need to monitor them carefully, then creating new sheets for each row in Excel is the best option for you. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll show 4 methods on how to create new sheets for each row in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the name of the employee, their January and February income and their total income in column B, C, D and E. Our target is to create new sheets by using the first cells of row 5 to row 9 that means B5 to B9. For this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In this first method, we'll be using pivot table to create new sheets for each row of row 5 to row 9 first values that means B5 to B9. At first, we need to select the values of B4 to E9, go for the insert tab and here in the tables, you'll go for the pivot table, select from table or range to open pivot table from table or range dialog box and here check whether the selection is correct or not then as we are trying to get the output in the existing worksheet so select it and as location of the output will go for the G4 press ok and at the right side you have got the pivot table fields as we are trying to show the first values of row 5 to row 9 will select the name column and it will automatically go for the rows portion. Now we need to drag it to the filters to show it as multiple worksheets. So select the rows name and drag it down to the filters option. Now you'll notice you've got the name range in the window in the G2 cell. After that, you'll go for the pivot table analyze tab, go for the pivot table in the active field in the options, you'll select show report filter pages to open show filter ranges dialog box. See whether everything is selected correctly or not. Click OK. And now you will see you have got the new sheets for each first value name of the row 5 to row 9. In our second method, we'll be using VBA application.proper method to create new sheets for each row. At first, in this case, we want to create the sheets by using the first values of row 5 to row 9. And to use this VBA code, we need to enable the developer tab. Go for the file tab. In the options, we'll open the Excel options. And then we'll go for customize ribbon. And here in the customize ribbon main tabs, we'll select the developer tab. Click OK to enable the developer tab. Go for the developer tab. In the code, go for Visual Basic to open Visual Basic Editor. Here, you need to go for the Sheet 3, double click on it to get the Visual Basic Editor. You need to remember that you can only insert the code in this sheet, otherwise the code won't work as it is only designed for this sheet. We have already copied our code from the source code and we need to paste it here by using Ctrl plus V in the keyboard. You can easily copy the code by going into the article linked below. Now, let's talk about the code a bit. Here we have the name of the code by using sub rows to new sheet. In the next line, we have defined our three variables, which is A, W, S as worksheet and the last row. Now to handle the error, we have gone for the error, resume next. And after that, we have gone for our variable last row, which will go for the special cell selection. And it will start the for loop by going for the each of the A in the range of starting from the B4 to going for the last input value of the column B and then it has set the condition of the A. If it finds nothing then it will go for the next portion of the worksheet of WS range and now it will go for our second variable. If anything is not there then it won't show nothing but if it finds anything then it will be going for the name of the sheet after the counting the sheets and it will go for the active sheet name which is the cell name in this section of B5 to B9 and it will be showing after the VBA application.proper method. It will end the condition by using the end if and next it will go for the next cell of the B6 to B9 and it will end the code after going for the each values of the column B. Now it has going for the row 5 to row 9 in this scenario but now if you insert more 
values in this case then it will show more rows here so let's go and check whether the code is working correctly or not so let's go for the run option and click on the run and now you'll see that the first values of row 5 to row 9 is showing in multiple sheet names so that's how we can create new sheets for each row in excel we can also use input box VBA code to create multiple sheets for each row. At first, we will go for the name of the worksheet, which is input box. Right click on it and select view code to open Visual Basic Editor here. Here at the right side, you will insert the code you have copied from the source code. Paste it here by using Ctrl plus V. You need to remember that the code need to be inserted in the sheet for input box otherwise in any other sheet the code won't work you can easily copy the code from the article link below at first we have our first line of the code which is sub create new sheet which is the name of the code and then we have our first variable as range second variable as cells which will be also connect as the range and next we have the error to handle the error and we need to set the range from the input box of select cell range and for going to the next step we need to go it as the title of create sheets and for the next portion we need to set the default portion of the selection address and it must be in the character 8 section now we have started the for loop section of each cell range variable and if it finds any kind of condition of nothing then it will go for the next portion of the cell range of b5 to b9 and after that you will go for the end of section by ending the condition if it finds everything correct then it will move on to the next cell range handle the error by going for the error handling and after that it will end the code by going for the end sub so let's go and check whether the code is working correctly or not you'll select the run option click on the run and as the create sheet you'll go for the first values of row 5 to row 9 that means b5 to b9 click ok and you will see you have created new sheets for each row in excel in our last method, we'll use defining row numbers to create multiple sheets for each row. So at first, right click on the worksheet name, go for the VO code and here we'll find the sheet 5 defining row numbers. You need to insert the code correctly on the sheet 5 only because otherwise the code won't work. So let's go for the sheet 5. We have already copied our code from the source code. We'll paste it here by using Ctrl plus V in the keyboard. You can easily get the code from the article link below so let's talk about the code a bit here we need to adjust it a bit so that it can be shown perfectly so here at first we have the name of the code sub row to sheet next we have our first variable x row as long range and next we have deem a as our second variable and now we'll go for the sheet active sheet that means it will be only worked where we have inserted it in the sheet 5 defining row name and after that we will go for the x row which is our first variable start the value from the range b5 and it will go for the end section of the column b after that we have started the for loop by using the starting point of a to x row that means it will show the ending point and next we have gone for the worksheet add that means it will update the worksheets whether it will count the values at first and it will go for the name values of the row and the value we have created in the a now it will move on to the next section of a and it will end the condition by using the end width and it will end the code by going for the end if we click run on it and see whether the code is working or not then you will see that you have created row 5 to row 9 sections here by using the vba code so that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this